Why did the gardener quit? His celery wasn't high enough. Ha! It's jaw time. With Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Well, hello and welcome back to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. This is day number five of Summer Fun Week, our final day, and today we're going to be drawing a watering can. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, today we're drawing a watering can. Um, gardening can be something fun to do in the summer. There is work involved, but it can be a fun summer activity. And watering the plants is part of that, whether it's flowers or vegetables. Uh, we're going to start off with a, a cylinder shape. So this was an oval at the top. And then the basic shape of the can is, is a cylinder. Now this one's going to be a little bit wider at the bottom. And there are a lot of different sizes and shapes of watering cans. And so I put together kind of a, a basic, typical, what I think of as a watering can when I think of one. Um, so you might, there, you might want to draw or look at a different picture of a watering can if you don't like this design. You might, might look for another one. Um, so we have the cylinder shape, and then we're going to add the, the spout where you water comes out of. I'm going to start with a slanted line. I'm going down. You can go up, but from on this left side and it starts off narrow out where the spout is and it gets wider as it gets towards the can. So that's what I've got here on this this part. Um, I'm going to make a curve where this attaches to the actual can and then I can go ahead I'll clean up where it overlaps the side of the can here. Now we've spent, my brother and I and sister as well I think, I don't know if my sister got involved with it, but we we spent hours, um, or spent some time at least, outside weeding in the garden as we were growing up. Um, that was not a lot of fun, but you know, being able to plant things and watch them grow and be involved with that is kind of a neat process. Now, out here on the end, I'm pretending that this is like where the center is, trying to look for where the center is, and then I draw this oval up here, uh, perpendicular to the center. Um, so. That's what I have there, and then I'm going to make this like a cylinder. So I put two short little lines here, curve around like that. So it's a, a narrow cylinder, skinny cylinder. Then I'm going to connect it to the spout here, two slanted lines on the side. Make a curve down where that they connect, and then I'm going to make a second curve underneath that. And so this is usually this is the part that can be. Um, taken off, it can be unscrewed and, and unfastened from the, the spout. If it gets clogged or something, you can empty it out. And then on the end here, I'm going to put some little ovals that are filled in for the holes where the water would come out. Okay, so that's the front of the watering can. Then on top, let's go ahead and make the, where the handle is. And I'm going to be working from the center of the oval on this side to the center on this side. Now I'm doing it at an angle because the can, I've got the can uh, turned at an angle. So I'm going to start over here and I'm going to curve up and over to this this part over here. So this is a handle on top. Okay. Now to complete the handle I want to make a line, horizontal line here and then make a curve that's parallel with this other line all the way around. I can erase where that overlaps the back part of the can. And then on the other side, we're going to start here at the top and curve in like this. And this is where it goes to the other side of the can. So this is a handle on top you can use to hold the can. They get quite heavy when they're full of water. Okay, let's go ahead and draw. Um, we're going to draw a curved piece here the front part of the can is covered is going to be covered so that water won't spill out as you are tipping it to, to pour out where you want it to come out out here. So this way it won't come out the top. So you, you actually put water in the back side of this. Okay and we could even you could even shade in where the inside of the can is. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a handle on the back. And for the handle on the back, I just want to make a curve up and around and down like this. 
Okay, and then what I'll do is I'm going to do something similar to what I did here on top. I'm going to start, actually I think I'll, I'll go up here, I'll draw a horizontal line here from the curve over towards the left, and then I'll draw the top part of this handle that's parallel with this, this edge right here. Okay, and then on the, uh, the back side here, I'm going to start right about in here and curve around and follow the curve of this other line. So it's parallel with this other line. It curves down and around and behind that part. And I can do a little bit of shading actually underneath the handle here and under this handle right here. It'll be a little bit darker because of the way the handle is turned. It would capture some shadow under there. The light would be hidden from that. Okay, so this is the basic design. I'm going to add just a couple little lines here, and then you could actually put some more decoration on there. Some watering cans have maybe a flower on the side or some kind of a, a I don't know, a dragonfly or something on the side. I'm just going to make a couple lines here that curve. This can, I would say that it's made out of metal. You could, they could be made out of plastic as well. Um, but it has, I'm going to put these two curves around like this is a trim on the can. And so this is our drawing for today, a watering can. Well, now that we know how to draw a watering can, let's take some time and see how we can add that to the big picture. Okay, let's take one last look at our big picture. Um, I went ahead and added the watering can that we did today. And before I did that, though, I thought about what I would put for the background. And I realized that I have, there's probably some of you that are watching from places other than America. And so I decided to let you know that these are things that I was able to do and enjoy as a child growing up in the United States. And so that's what we have here. And so I did the American flag as a background. And then I, I looked and thought about where to place everything and decided to go ahead and leave things pretty much the way I had them throughout the week and then put the watering can here just to kind of balance the whole picture out. And I thought it was also neat that um, the lightning bugs in the jar, that the jar is somewhat, the paper is somewhat translucent so you can actually see the uh, bicycle tire behind here and part of the flag as well. So I thought that was pretty neat. But uh, so that's what this is. This is a collage that we put, put together separate pictures that have been cut out and pasted down to make a larger picture. And so this is our big picture for this week. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to draw with me this week. I hope you'll come back next week when we start a new summertime theme. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Summer, 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 summer. Oh yeah, that's a keeper.